If you have watched my WinCC step-by-step -step video series or you've been working with WinCC, you may remember the linking functionality on graphics designer screens that allows you to search and replace tags on one or more objects. And this is a really, really useful feature. However, we have to do this one screen at a time. What we really need is a way to search and replace tags across all screens in a project, as well as VBS and C scripts. Well, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that in this video, so let's get started. So first, we're gonna go into tag management. I'm gonna show you a brand new feature in WinCC version eight. Just found out about this. I can right click on a tag and do search place of use. This is going to open up the cross-reference editor, and it's gonna filter for that tag, and it's gonna show me everywhere that tag is used. So I can see that it is used on page one and page two in different objects. We've got one in a VBS function, alarm logging, and tag logging. Now it'll also find it in C script and C project functions. And I'm going to be showing you that a little bit later in the video. So be sure to stick around because we can globally fix all of our C scripts to handle adding tags to the cross reference editor. And going back to tag management, here you can see motor is a structure tag. And so I can go and do this right on the structure instance. And it is going to go back and find everywhere that particular structure instance was used. And if I highlight these, you can see that it's finding any use of any of the elements of motor one. So you can see I've got alarm logging, tag logging, page one and page two that it is found. So if I wanted to replace all of my motor one instances on my page two, I could highlight these here and then right click and choose link. And this is going to allow me to just say, Hey, find every instance where we see the string underscore one, change it to underscore two. I'll hit preview. You can see that it's gonna find those instances, change them over to motor two. I'll just hit apply. And now it's updated our data. So if I go in and look at motor two, you can see that it has updated these. So let's go over to graphics designer and take a look and see for ourselves. So here's page two. And we can just lasso this and look at the linking. And you can see everything has been changed to motor two. If we look at our VBS script, it has also been changed to motor two. Now, one thing that did not change is my C script. We have to do a little bit of extra work to C scripts in order to get them to show up in cross reference editor. And that's what I'm going to show you right now. So I'm just going to close this code window. And if you've ever done C scripts, I'm just going to create a new one here. Every time you create one, it gives you this big commented out code block. And what this is, it's a template for the cross reference editor to identify tags and screens in a script. And they give you the syntax and everything. So I'm just going to copy this. And we'll go back over to this script. And this is how you do it manually. I'm gonna show you how to do it globally in the project, but this will help you understand what's going on. So this is the tag name section, and this is where you use a defined statement to show which tags are being used in the script. The cross-reference editor looks for this section, and then it can search and replace tags in this script. So I'm just going to open up a line. I'm gonna copy this pound defined statement, and then I'm going to steal this tag name and put it right here. And then since we're actually on our page two, I'll make that motor two. And then we're going to give this a name. This is a constant. So we'll just call this M2 power. And anytime we use this tag in this script, we're going to use this name instead of the actual name of the tag. The cross-reference editor is going to find all the tags that we list in this section and it can search and replace them. So let's go check it out. I will right click and compile this, click OK, and then hit save. And then let's go back to the cross-reference editor and we will hit refresh. We go to our motor two power. Here we take a look at button two which I believe is our C script. It does find our tag. And of course we've already updated it to two. And so we're all good here. Now, what we need is a way to change all of our C scripts. And WinCC does give you a tool. It will look for tags as well as screen names inside of C scripts. So here on this button, I've got page one PDL. 
if we go back to the actual page one here, I've got the same C script showing this screen. And if we look at our C tag here, this is referencing Motor One Power. So I don't want to go touch every C script that I have. I would like to do this globally. So I'm about to show you a tool that does that. I'm going to go ahead and close Graphics Designer. You want everything saved and changed. I'm also going to go to Control Center and open up the C editor. And here we have an action that is also using a tag with a name here. So I'm just going to close this. And I will close our cross-reference and we'll just go ahead and exit the project. And while this is closing, I'm going to hit the Windows button. I'm going to go all the way up to the Siemens Automation folder. And we are looking for the cross-reference assistant. And this is a really great tool. Basically, it's going to search through our entire project and any tags or screens that it sees in our project. It will add in the defined statements for us so that we don't have to. So I will just select the MCP file of the project. Click Open. We'll hit Next. And it's going to open the project and these are the files it's going to look at for conversions. You can also add or remove from here. I'll hit next. And then there's also some expanded settings and it tells you what functions it's looking for for your tags and your pictures. You can also add on your own functions and we'll just hit finish and it's going to go through all the files it finds and it will add our defined statements. So here it showed us that it has scanned three PDLs. It's made some changes. We'll just click OK and hit close. And we're just going to go ahead and reopen our project. Once our project is open, we can go take a look at our screens and see the changes that were made. So here we're on page one. We'll go to our event. You can see that it added in a defined statement and it just generates a, a unique ID to use here. Also, if we take a look at our picture, you can see that it did also put a defined statement for our picture in here. Also looking at global scripts, I'm going to open our C editor and in our actions, it also did the same thing in our global action. Now, one thing that it won't do, and I'm not sure why, but on project functions, it won't do it. You have to manually add these in here. You can add the code in here. I'll just do this really quick. I'll just kind of grab this code base here and I can just kind of paste this in, replace my tag and I'll give it a different moniker. I'll just call this M1 power and we'll just replace this down here and just compile this. And so going back to WinCC Explorer, we can open up our cross-reference editor and I can search for all the tags that are used and I can search for all my Motor 1 tags and highlight the ones that are used. Hit our link button. And so you see it does find our Motor 3 current in our project action. It also finds our Motor 1 power in our C project function. And we can also do a search for uses of screens. So if I do pictures, then if I look at page one, you see that it is finding the picture in script. We can go do a go to look up on that. So it highlights this button here and it did find our page one there. Going back to cross reference editor, I want to point out a few things. Number one, notice that I'm searching for pictures and link is disabled. You can only do search and replace on tags or on text library texts. So if I turn off my filter and I search for all objects that have motor underscore in them, I'll hit enter and then I will just select some of these. If I am on a PDL, then I can do the link. But if I have like alarm logging in there, it's going to be grayed out. If I do tag logging, it's going to be grayed out as well as my VBS scripts. So it's only going to replace things that are actually on a PDL or in a global action. Another thing that I've just found out is report layouts. It will find tags under certain conditions. So here you can see I've got Motor One Power on this report layout. So if I right click and go to that, what I've got is two tag objects. These are, I call them IO fields. And if we take a look at this one, then I've got Motor One Power here. 
And then on this one, I actually have a script and we can open up the script here. And I've basically just done my pound to find. Now it's not going to let me search and replace these, but at least we can find out where they are used. Another really helpful thing is you can find things that are not used, used or does not exist. So if we want to go to our tags and look for all tags that are not used, then if we're close to our license limit on our tag, we could use this to get rid of tags that we're not using to reduce our tag count. Also, if you've copied in pages and did not copy in the tags that were referenced, then you can also search for tags that do not exist. So you can see that I do have some tags in this project that are referenced on screens, but they do not exist. So I can go and take a look at these. And these are some indirect tags that we have, but you will also find that you cannot search and replace these. I don't understand why, because I feel like that would be really, really useful. And one last feature I'd like to show you in cross-reference editor we can export our result set and just choose what format we want I'll just choose Excel file and we'll just call this non-existent tags and if you don't give it a path then it just puts it into the cross-reference directory in your project and this shows us all the information about our non-existent tags where they're used and on what properties Okay, guys, that's all I've got for you today. I appreciate you watching this far. If you enjoyed this or learned something, how about hitting that subscribe button, like this video, share it with your colleagues, consider being a member of this channel. Thank you very much for watching.